So a while back ago I made an antenna mod for the Radiolink 8010 radio. It has become very popular to make this kind of mod, but the problem is after a while the antenna connector wears off. So today I'm gonna make a way better solution. Instead of actually disconnecting and reconnecting the antenna, I'm just letting it slide back and forth into the radio. So. It looks really nice and it's super convenient. As soon as you don't need the antenna, you can just poke it back in. So, how do we make this mod? I started off by removing the battery. I then proceeded with removing the four screws on the back side. Be careful of the cable running between the two sides of the transmitter. First off, try to find a PVC pipe that will fit your antenna. Then measure how long it should be. Remember that the battery prevents it from going further back than this. Start removing plastic from this part here on the top until you can actually fit the pipe. Then cut a slit in the pipe but leave off about 1 cm on one side. The antenna wire should now fit through the slit. Next up I made a holder for the pipe. Now if you don't have access to a 3D printer you could always make this part of wood or something else. All of the parts are available on my Thingiverse page, link in the description. Then just remove this screw and then screw in the mount with it. The pipe should now fit perfectly in place. I then started designing the second and last part you'll need for this build, which is a connector to the antenna that will actually fit into the rail system. Roughen up the surface to make the glue stick better and then put on the extension. It only fits one way so you don't have to worry about the orientation. Take the pipe and cut it like this. Then bend this part downwards so that it makes a slope. Make sure there's a lot of room for the wire to go through. Insert the antenna and then glue it to hold the angle. Once it's done it should look and work something like this. Just glue the pipe in place with some super glue. Go ahead and re-solder the antenna. If you want more details on this, just check out my antenna mod video, I go a lot more in depth there. Add a bit of glue here so that the antenna movement doesn't actually destroy the solder joint. At this point you should have a construction that works like this. Just make sure everything runs smoothly and then you're ready to put the transmitter back together. So at this point the modification was all done. It's just really convenient to quickly be able to put the antenna in and out when you're out on the field. Just remember that if you want to make this modification, you will avoid any possible warranty that you might have on your transmitter since you're opening it up. Also, things can go wrong and I cannot be held responsible if something breaks during the upgrade. That is all for today and if you like this video, please subscribe, it does help a lot. And check out some of our other videos, I'll have some linked right here.